Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today we're gonna to be talking about board games. We have not done a board game video in a hot, hot minute. If you guys are new or if you are a part of the board game community, hi, my name is Stephanie. I mainly talk about movies and like TV and I just kind of like sprinkle a little bit of board game content here and there. We're gonna be talking about my shelf of shame, which I honestly, I don't have too many. Amy. I'm gonna start with this big one because it keeps looking at me. Honestly, it's probably like the scariest one that I have in the collection. I cannot for the life of me figure out how to play it. The rolls are trash. I did end up printing some new ones because it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. Like the roll book really is not good. So I did print a new one and I just haven't gone back to to do it but it is zombie related when i tell y'all it's like in the back of my shelf because i don't even want to see it because it's so scary y'all ready for this ah look at her everywhere is darkness the air full of smoke rising from the ruins of what once used to be the city bits of broken glass cover the ground tape tracing a path through the doomed neighborhood you come across other survivors screaming and running away from an unimaginable horror there's no time to take a deep breath deep Red footprints mark the pavement. Blood flows into the gutters. Gutters. Fresh evidence of a nearby massacre and ongoing terror. Finally, you discover the house you've been looking for for so desperately. The last fortress in a barren land of death. You recognize the front door from the faded photography in your hands. Photographing your hands. Dr. Mortimer's laboratory supposedly lies in this house and within those walls awaits a dose of the antidote against the lethal epidemic turning humans into zombies. I mean, does that not sound pretty cool? So yeah, there's like fires and there's like zombie dogs, y'all. The zombie keeps looking at me, not scary. So this other one, I, I'm kind of cheating a little bit, okay? Because technically I have played it one time, but I didn't finish it. I couldn't write my m mind around it, okay? I guess at the end of the day, that's really what it is. I could not write my mind around it. The setup was just kind of a lot. And I am playing it solo, but I do want to play with other people. I just, I remember when I backed the Kickstarter and I was telling my sister about it. She goes, oh, yes, definitely buy it. And I was very excited when I got it. Immediately was trying to learn it because I was like, that way for like our next game night, we can play it. But unfortunately, I have not been able to table it again to learn it again. Um, if anybody wants to teach me, that would be amazing. Reach out to me, please, and, and teach me how to play Septima. My box, she got injured upon delivery look at that so this is one that's very beloved very much on the top bgg number one number two it's been up in there um it's still in shrink and that is brass birmingham you know everybody was talking about it and i said okay i want to see what this game is all about let's try it so i've seen videos for it but i don't I don't think it has a solo mode and I can't play it. I am mainly a solo player, like I've said many times. I know you can play it at least with two people, but I am one. So then we have Jerusalem, Año Domino. I got it because I heard it's pretty good solo and I said, I love me a good solo game. I love the theme of it. I know you're playing the disciples, right? Jesus disciples and for the last supper and I'm trying to sit next to Jesus and me and Jesus we BFF, so I'll be right up on him. Again, I can't wrap it. I'm a simple person, okay? I can only do so much. So these next two, I actually ended up winning my very first year that I went to BGG Spring. I know nothing about them. Try to look at playthroughs, but I couldn't really find very many like really good ones that I really, that they kept me entertained, not to be like mean or anything like that. I just couldn't find any, but if you guys know of any, let me know. But the first one is Imaginarium. Uh, if you guys know anything about these, like, if are they worth it? Are they worth me keeping? I mean, it seems kind of cool, but I just couldn't figure, I couldn't find, like, a good playthrough. I'm a very visual learner, so I prefer to see a playthrough or see a few playthroughs and then do the rule book as kind of like a refresher. I don't know if y'all do that, but that's kind of how I am able to learn. And the other one that I won was Sapotec? Sapotec? Um... I don't know like when I looked at it <laughs> I think I did see a video I didn't like the way it looked I'm like a packaging whore and I didn't like this one. Oh, but it's one two four players I can play this one by myself another one that I won at BGG I kind of forgot is this Parkade a game for Fridays 
I I don't even know really what this is about either. It's still in plastic. Haven't even opened it. It's another one that never really called my attention, but it's there. And one day, one day I'll open it. Uh, one that I honestly just got because of the packaging. Honestly, as soon as I saw it, I said, well, not the packaging, the theme. Because of the theme, I said, add to cart. This is the newest one to the collection. It still has the price on the shell and shrink. Um, it's called Don't Talk to Strangers. And it just seemed really interesting that I could play it by myself. And I was like, hey, spooky season is coming around. You know, it's all about aliens and monsters and stuff. I mean, I'm paying me not personally aliens. It seems really trippy. I like the art. It was another one just because of the packaging. It just, it gives me like 80s vibes. I did look at some playthroughs and once again, what is the theme? I cannot wrap my mind around it. And that is the Looney Tunes game. But I just knew that this was gonna be a game that my family and myself were gonna love because we just absolutely love the Looney Tunes. And it just seemed like it was gonna be a lot of chaos and stuff, but I, I, I can. So this next one, I did attempt to play it once and one of my friends who came over had to leave early. I remember, I think she, her husband had planned something. She goes, oh, I'm so sorry. He planned something, it was a surprise. And so I was like, oh, so we can't play this game because this game is longer. Plus I don't really know how to play it. So it's gonna be longer because, you know, trying to explain everything. So we ended up playing other things, but hopefully we're gonna play it again this year. Well, not again. We're gonna play it this year for like our Fright Night. It's gonna be the thing. It looks great. I, I really, really hope that we can actually play it this year, but I do need to rewatch the playthroughs uh, for it. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna be going to BGG fall this year, which is gonna be my very first time. I've been to BGG spring twice. It is here in Dallas and I'm from Dallas, so that's like great. And usually when it's in spring, since it's, when it's in spring, yeah, during the spring one, it's in the airport. So normally I do like a staycation. I've only gone twice, but I usually do a staycation because the airport's pretty far. That way we can go downstairs, get the game and come up because I am, I'm an introvert. I have so much anxiety, but I really, really, really want to like get myself out there a little bit more and like really be part of the community and like make friends and be able to play with you guys and have you guys like teach me games. Like, some of these that I don't know anything about because I would really love it because I'm so shy. I mean, you may not think that I'm shy, but I am shy. And like when I first meet people, I'm just like so quiet and I'm just like a lost little mouse, deer, whatever. It's literally until you get to know me that you'll get like this me. But normally I'm just like stranger danger. Uh, because of Inside Out, we now have a face to anxiety. I liked that description of her and that's how my anxiety looks now. And that little heifer just be going at it with me and puts all these kind of scenarios in my head and I hate it because I really really would love to again like be downstairs and playing with everybody. So this is like me with pre-advancement asking y'all if y'all go to BGG fall. Hi <laughs> you want to play a game with me? <laughs> Honestly, every time we would go, we get our games and we would go up to the room and play the games there. I know. I know, but like, blame her. Blame her. Like, literally right now, she's like, you're sounding pretty desperate. Stop doing this. So we're, we're going to see if this even makes it into the video because it may be cut. Finally, the last one is one that Desiree, my sister, ended up winning at our local game store. Now, for those that are coming down for BGG Fall, I think you guys mainly might go to the Madness uh, Games and Comics in Plano, Texas, which is great. It's a huge one. But if you are looking for a different uh, local game store, I highly recommend House Rules as in Bishop Arts District. It is a great location. You could actually make it an after. I mean, I know you're coming for the, the con, but if you want to kind of take a little small break from the con, you know, you've got to got to eat right and kind of relax a little bit because you get tired but um, if you do want to take in the sights a little bit I highly do recommend going and and, and heading over to Bishop Arts District uh, because there is that local game store and he actually sells his games like at a 20% less than what the real retail price is I can't remember how much it is but it's, it is significantly less than what you would get at um, other game stores. Not to like bash any of the other game stores, but just know that there's this option. It is a smaller 
store but they do have a lot of games and then just generally that whole area of the bishop arts district it is just a great place to kind of like chillax and in november usually the weather's pretty nicely i personally would recommend the hamburger place that's like around the corner like when you get out of the the store turn left and then left and you're gonna go down like where all the shops and it's a, nothing but local shops so if you love to shop locally and support local shops that's a great like area again uh, but if you keep walking straight <laughs> cause i don't know the street names but again you get out of the store it's left and left you will come uh to a hamburger place called old-fashioned burgers and the hamburgers are amazing i love it uh, across the street the game store there's a little popsicle place there if you turn left and just keep going straight you will come uh to a donut and coffee store i believe i know for sure donuts but i'm sure they sell coffee too in the direction like if you're going to the hamburger place like after you finish eating if you're like i want a treat but you don't want a popsicle there is an ice cream place i believe it's called melt and they have like actual ice creams um there's like a record store there's a bookstore um and again a lot of like little local stores a really good place to check out because there's just a lot to see there i'm just chilling on the game anywho for their first annual anniversary when they opened they have like a sidewalk sale and they give away games like every hour and hour you enter for the raffle and desiree was the last one to win and she won massive darkness and i have yet to play it <laughs> I haven't even looked at the uh, any videos to be honest with you. I think I've heard that it's actually really, really good, but it's because it's so big. <laughs> I'm just like, it's so intimidating. I get so intim intimidated when there's like big old games because I'm like, if I can't even wrap my head around the smaller games, what am, what am I gonna do with this big old bad boy? You guys have played Mass of Darkness 2, Hellscape. Why am I down here? Hellscape, <laughs> let me know. I guess it's gonna be it for me to Day. it was quite a bit of a long video but i haven't done a again a board game video in quite some time if you guys are still around please don't forget to give this video a like comment share subscribe don't forget again to like reach out to me if you guys are going to go to bgg fall i would love to meet you guys and play and hopefully i don't get all nervous and anxiety doesn't come around and try to get me like all like ah no I'm gonna be like hiding in the corner somewhere if you see me in the corner please come and grab me and be like no you come and play with us thank you so much everyone for watching until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye